Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I just want to, I guess, go over the AI Content Dojo, or at least the website. Uh, if you've seen the YouTube channel, you know there's probably something like 90-something videos in there, and they're all covering AI content, uh, AI writers, and various ways of how to use them and things like that. And um, But... One of the biggest questions that I keep getting over and over again is how do I do workflow? Like from beginning to end, how do I complete content using whatever tool, whether it's Phrase or Shortly or Jarvis? How do I get something done? And I just want to take a moment and just show you, I'm going to call it the treasure trove of information that's inside of the AI Content Dojo website. If you haven't seen this before and you have that question, like how do you do a workflow? Let me show you something. This is um, just the website, aicontentdojo.com. And this is the landing page you get when you come onto the homepage, just enter the dojo. You're gonna go straight into the workflow page. That's where you go right off of the homepage. And this is like an overview of the workflow. So there's a little welcome video. And then we just go through all the steps, right? Each of the steps are basically brainstorming, right? Coming up with ideas, researching. Got to make sure you know that topic really well so you can deliver for your reader. Uh, writing and content, well, that's the part where you actually put that research into action and uh, get the words created using AI tools and, you know, some good old-fashioned hard work too. Um, this needs to be swapped. <laughs> Edit is actually next you edit that content, make sure that it reads well, you know, isn't uh, overly fluffy, make sure there's no plagiarism and errors and things like that. And then after that, you would go to SEO, you know, maybe something like phrase to kind of make sure that you're not missing any content and you got all the right words in there to make it match up favorably against the competition. And then you publish and promote. That's the full workflow, basically. And this overview page just kind of goes over it. First, I'll tell you these are the tools that I recommend. These are um, some AI tools, some AI uh, research assistants, uh, Grammarly Premium for editing. And if you want a video on, on what I recommend, you can go here to, to see that. Uh, the overflow or the, the overview of the workflow steps is brainstorm research, writing, edit, SEO, publish, and promote. I don't have that much about promote just yet, and honestly, not really publish either. A little bit. But most of the, the content is around brainstorming, researching, writing, and then editing and SEO versus the, the last two there. Uh, so basically, you just get a little bit of an overview of what each step is, but it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Like you find out what you're going to write about, learn it, write it, edit it, get it ready for for uh, Google, and then publish it online nicely. When I say publish, I'm going to go ahead and click here. Uh, when I say publish, what I mean is using, you know, is beautifully publish your, your article. You know, you spent all this time to do the research and to you know, create a masterpiece for your reader that resonates with them. Why not make it look nice too? Kind of like what I do here on the AI Content Dojo website. And so all you really do is just kind of look through here, figure out what, I mean, that's the flow. You click on here if you want to learn more. So each section of the of the flow, each step of the workflow, you can, in the menu that appears on the site here, you can see them all here. And you can just kind of learn more about each step, right? So here we are in the edit step. This would be the content that I've created to help you in the edit step. So there's one, two, three, four, five articles here. It's not really the treasure trove, but when you look in the other ones, let's say brainstorming, for instance, brainstorming has quite a bit more. And then if we go into research, research has a few more. And if we go into writing, writing is the one that's crazy because writing is where, you know, where all these AI tools mostly sit, you know. And so there's a lot of content in this website about how to do writing with AI tools. So if you have that question, like where, what does your workflow look like? Well, the workflow is, is pretty much just coming with ideas, researching it, writing it, editing it, getting it ready for Google and publishing it. And if you need help with any one of those steps along the way, you can come here and just pick the step 
and go right into it. Now over here where it says AI apps in the menu, um, this is where I break down the content from the angle of the app that you want to use. So for instance, if, you, if you're a phrase user and you want information on phrase, you'd click here. And at the top, I basically just say, what is phrase? I provide a link to go get phrase. And yes, that is an affiliate uh, link. If you purchase it through that link, uh, then the phrase team will give me a small commission to support the dojo it's no, at no extra cost to you. Below that though, just like on the other steps are, are the articles that are focused on phrase. So these are the ones, now this isn't broken down by the step in the workflow. This is broken down purely from the fact that the content of the article uh, contains information to help you use phrase. The same thing can be said for shortly. You'll learn about, a lot about shortly. Same thing, you can purchase it. I get a small commission to support the dojo and I can keep creating more really cool guides like this to help you learn uh, as things change over time or, I, or as I start uh, stepping back. Now that my new book is published, which you see at the top here, the Persona SEO book, now that that's out, I'm trying to take the dojo you know, less about the inner workings of how each app does writing and stuff and kind of zooming out a little bit, working more on workflow and how you might use these tools to accomplish certain content tasks and things like that. And um, yeah, I've got a lot more coming. So as I create the content, so for instance, if I create shortly content, you'll find it right here in the shortly section. If it just happens to be about, uh, let's say writing, it would also be in the writing section. And uh, if you if you want to see everything all in one place, that's what this explore is. So this is all of the articles that I have written on the AI Content Dojo website to give you information uh, to help you work and help you get things done. So as you can see, there's quite a lot in here, and I hope that you'll use it to um, you know figure out your you could use this workflow as is if you want to, but kind of figure it out for yourself, whatever works for you. And I'm going to zoom real fast. So if you, if you get motion sick, I'm sorry. Um, so that's explore. Now back inside of apps, there's the compendium. Now the compendium is where I put together a whole bunch of stuff that are like the commands that kind of make shortly and Jarvis <clears throat> work really good. Uh, so like if you need to accomplish things, like let's say, um, one of the features of the compendium is that you can filter it or you can even enter your topic. So let's say that you are going to um, write about fishing with a tape measure. Uh, and you know, you want to write, uh, let's say, an accomplishment. <laughs> you know, so since I put in fishing with a tape measure, where it says write an accomplishment about fishing with a tape measure, right? And let's let's say that you wanted to change that even, like like, you know, about fly fishing with a tape measure you know if you wanted to change it in just this one instance you could change it there or you could change it up here and so since i i changed it down here now it's fly fly fishing right so you come back here and just take that off uh so yeah i mean that's one of the things let me just go ahead and take this away so we see that everything now and let me just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to zoom way, way out. You're not going to be able to see everything, but I just want to show you how much stuff is in here. So you get accomplishments, acronyms, uh, ADA, that's a marketing uh, template, uh, answers. If you need to write like something like a featured snippet for Google, you would do that with something with code like this. And, and before I go too far, I'm going to go back up here. There's a toggle button here. You toggle this, and it just shows only the only the main sections and gives it sort of takes away the the helpful instructions. So if you don't need that and you just want the commands, hit that toggle button. And so we got a, a before after bridge. You can even get baby names, book titles, excuses. <laughs> Give me a list of homework excuses for fly fishing with a tape measure. Interesting. Um, feature benefits, headlines, introductions, letters listicles, outlines, all kinds of stuff that you can do with these AI tools that have command capability. Now right now, Phrase doesn't have commands, so these will only really work with Shortly or, Fra or uh, Jarvis, but Phrase is working on commands, and so it will work with Phrase as well in the future at some point when they release that. Uh, but that's the compendium. 
there's also, you probably pretty much ignore the organic traffic estimator. It's just something I kind of put together that's kind of a, a fun little tool that kind of tries to guess. Let me zoom back in here. It tries to guess how much you'll earn. Like, let's say you write 50 really good posts and you're an experienced, you know, uh, writer. You get a, roughly this much for your 50 posts, you know, and it's based off of, you know, a certain amount of light monetization. You're not trying really, really hard to monetize because a, a strong affiliate, you know, marketing can definitely produce more than this and stuff. So, um, you know, it's just kind of a fun little tool down below here. It does have some links over to some of the other content on the site and uh, tips for on working fast. So this is the AI content dojo. As I produce videos, some of those videos get turned into guides here. For instance, you might recognize the um, this one down here, one of my most popular, let's see, don't ask for complete content, craft it using components. This is actually one of the most popular videos on my channel, and it's also a guide here inside of the AI Content Dojo website. So that's all I wanted to show you. That's pretty much it for this video, but there's a ton of content in here. And if you have any questions about workflow or if, or e even if none of these answer your needs, please let me know. You know, I'm going to be posting this in the AI Content Dojo Facebook group. If after watching this and checking out the site, if you still have questions about workflow and how to get things done, of course, ask your questions. Help me come up with ideas for future content to create to produce something helpful for you. So uh, also, if you're interested in Persona SEO, let me go ahead and click on this. This is the, this is the new book. And it, basically, the premise is trying to help you craft a story for your reader that will help you solve your reader's problems in such a, a good way that it kind of automatically solves your Google problems and you create content that resonates so well with your reader that they can't help but read more and share it with friends and things like that. You just sort of naturally grow from having created really great content. And there's much more to it than that, but that's sort of it in a nutshell. If you're interested in that book, just find any of the pages on the AI Content Dojo website. Uh, up at the top will be the new book link, and you can check it out from there. And that's it from this video. And until next time, take care.